Today's a difficult day. The judgment coming out of the United States is an attack on women's freedom, and quite frankly, it's an attack on everyone's freedoms and rights. Let me be really, really clear. In Canada, we will always defend women's rights to choose and continue to work to expand uh, access to the full range of reproductive and health and services uh, across the country. But today, I think of those generations of women around the world and specifically in the United States who fought so hard to gain rights and continue to fight today to get more and more rights because there's still so much more work to do and are facing this devastating setback. It shows how much standing up and fighting for rights matters every day, that we can't take anything for granted, that we need to continue to stand strong to defend everybody's rights and freedoms in Canada and where we are here internationally, standing up internationally as well, which Canada will do, whether it's uh, fighting for women's rights here in Africa or supporting people fighting for their rights in the United States and elsewhere. Today is a dark day. It's a dark day for women in the United States and around the world. It's a setback, it's a reversal of hard-fought gains by generations of women. And this decision will put women lives at risk. And it has a domino effect on other rights. But the message that we're conveying also today is that your voice matters. Your voice, your vote matters. And no country in the world, including Canada, is immune to what's going on in the United States. And we already know that even last year, the Conservatives voted in favor of reopening the debate on abortion in Canada. And right now, as the Conservative leadership race is happening, candidates are shopping for anti-abortion votes. And so, we as a government will continue to stand up for women's rights. Because it's the right thing to do. Because we need to. And, of course, we'll work across the government to make sure that women across the country and around the world have access to reprodu reproductive and sexual services, uh, health and re sexual rep reproductive, sorry, sorry, sorry for that. Um, that's our goal.